Can a 3D printed wrench remove a tire? No. Actually, it turns out it can. Last time I tested this socket made of nylon carbon fiber. You can check out the video if you want, but I'll also catch you up real quick here. So in our first attempt, it broke at 80 pound feet. And after a reprint and a second attempt, we were able to remove a tire that was torqued down to 100 pound feet, which is about the average spec for a car's wheel. I wanna try something that's supposedly much stronger. This is Peak. It's one of the strongest thermoplastics in the world. And aside from metal, possibly the strongest 3D printing filament. Now I don't have a ton of experience with this filament, mainly because it's a very demanding material to print. Your average budget 3D printer's hot end usually maxes out around 260 degrees Celsius and your more expensive ones around 300 to 310. Peak needs to be printed around 400 degrees. That's Celsius, not Fahrenheit. That is hot, like extremely hot. Just browsing this list of 3D printers capable of doing that, it starts around 7,500 and it just goes up from there. So I had this one printed for me by PCBWay. More on that later. So let's get to the test. Like before, I'm gonna start low and work my way up. Let's start at 40 pound feet and work up in increments of 20. As a side note, some of you guys mentioned before, it takes slightly less torque to remove a nut than to tighten one. My original kind of shower thought was, can a 3D printed wrench remove a tire? So that led me to make this socket. And a tire is usually torqued down to around 100 pound feet. So the test was just to see if I could remove it. And I'm gonna keep the test going like that just as a comparison. So just keep that in mind that there's slightly less torque being applied to the socket. Using this torque wrench I've torqued the tires down to these specs so let's get started and see how high we can go if we hit 120 just for fun I want to try this out this is an impact wrench and it's powered by compressed air if it survives that I'm just gonna keep going and see how high we can get it oh and I'm gonna wrap it in tape because this happened last time and I'm hoping the tape might catch some fragments if it explodes again so I'm just gonna start by torquing them down with this torque wrench I'm gonna go 40 60 80 100 120 Now just holding it, it doesn't feel like anything particularly special, but I guess you can't tell just by holding it. I have my peak socket here attached to a short extension, which is attached to a breaker bar. So let's try taking them off. Almost forgot these and forgot I was going to do this. Yep. Not too bad. It is, it is sticking on a little bit, so it might be deforming slightly. We're up to a hundred pound feet now, which is what we got to with a nylon carbon fiber. just deformed didn't do it it just spun so that's about as high as I think it'll go now I'm a little disappointed I didn't get a try it out on this but I want to have some fun so let's use the nylon carbon fiber one from before and see how it goes so I've torqued them all down to hundred pound feet and I'm just gonna pretend I'm a NASCAR pit crew and just go as fast as I can
All right, so we got some results today and it went about as expected. The peak socket did really well and it managed to remove lug nut that was torqued down to 100 pound feet and it got close to removing the one at 120. It felt like it just failed at the last second there. I wanna give a quick shout out to PCBWay. I wasn't able to print this on my own printer, so they sent me this one. It's a great service that's easy to use. All you have to do is upload the file of your model, pick the materials and specifications you want. An expert will review your order before they print it and send it off to you. Thank you PCBWay for sending me this. A result I find interesting is the way these two materials failed. When the nylon fiber one broke, it completely shattered with minimal deformation prior. The peak socket failed by deforming till it was no longer able to grip onto the nut. Peak is known for having extremely high tensile strength, which is the amount of force needed to essentially rip it apart. I think the carbon fiber in the nylon adds a hardness to it, but also a brittleness to it. This is something to consider if you're thinking about using these materials in functional parts. Do you need a material that will resist pulling apart? Maybe try Peak. Do you need a material that will hold its shape without deformation, but maybe has a little less force applied to it? Try nylon carbon fiber. Often we use the term strength as a general way to describe the properties of material, but there's more to it. Now this isn't the most scientific testing and I don't claim it is. If you want hard numbers, you can look at a spreadsheet. I wanted a real world test to help you conceptualize those numbers. I figure most people or at least a lot of people have changed a tire before. And you know by feel the kind of force is being applied. It's also just more fun this way. Next time I have something even stronger to test out if you can believe that. If you think you know what it is, tell me in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and thanks again to PCBWay for hooking me up with this. If you liked the video, leave a like, consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.